bright sunshine on KZN's East Coast, live from the architectural marvel that is the Moses Mabida Stadium. We await the most anticipated fixture of the DSTV Premiership's opening weekend. A new season, a clean slate. Today, Kaiser Chiefs begin their quest to make amends for eight barren years, starting this DSTV Premiership campaign against the always unpredictable Chipper United. So with that, a very warm welcome from KwaZulu-Natal on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon. With deep roots in the province, Chiefs, like last season, host the Chili Boys in Durban with the iconic Moses Mabida Stadium, the stage for their season opening showdown. Hoisted forward for Christian Saile, playing out on the flank today. He's been scythed down on the right-hand side, an early free kick for Kaiser Chiefs, as Olin Zabo, the 24-year-old, uh, just catching him a little late. That's why he looks dangerous for me, Saile, using his pace, using his skill down the line and looking for, for the number nine, which is Chiva, uh, Chiva Vairo. Nice touch. Been desperate defending the ball with Chippy United again and Menzin Brindwe. Debutant who actually hails from KZN. Now they've advanced deep into the box and Dwandre twists his body to try and direct something towards goal and his acrobatic effort is over. That's what Morgan wants from a good man Mosella to get the ball and drive the team forward. That's what he's doing in that moment. Drives the team forward, goes for that cut back, but slightly played behind in Dwandre. Cross far too close to Waban. As she's certainly dominating the possession over the last uh, few minutes. Over 60% of it, but in terms of attempts on goal, they have not managed to muster anything as of yet. Over the past fortnight, in the two high profile friendly matches they played, lost both of those 1 0. Two weeks back in Dar es Salaam, is that. Ball puts uh, Robali under a lot of pressure now. Shabalala going for goal. Just wide of the mark. If he's not on to build from the back, clear the ball. Taking a risk in a no-risk area, that is Chiba United. Trying to build from the back when he's not on. Good pressing coming from Saile. Good follow-up from, from Ranga. Then Shabalala benefits from that. He must be eating target from there. He must be eating target from there. Unlucky for the young man. Two goals last season uh, to go together with the two assists. But chances like that, it's a half chance he needs to be eating target. Cut out by Ngobo. And now Ngobo has gone for goal from distance. Well, he had two options there. Feed Ranga Chibaviro right, right through the middle or try and beat Nwabali who was off his line. But then go full laces, go through the ball, full, uh, full laces. He's looking for the chip. Ranga, she now to it ahead of Saile. Squeeze through, but it's been picked off here by Kaiser Chiefs. It's with Ranga Chibaviro, still he continues on towards Shabalalo, who does control eventually. Now Castillo clipping it over the top for the teenager, and he's been flagged for offside. He does not agree, though. This is the second ball that uh, Castillo has tried over the, uh, over the top. This time he's trying to find uh, Du Shabalalo, and he says to the assistant red, never, never. But when you look at, look at it, I think it was a correct ball from the assistant red. Good steal from Novo. Chibaviro works it out wide to Edson Castillo. He swings it back in. Is it coming together in the box? Now Yusuf Mart. And still Mart. Will be a Kaiser Chiefs corner. Last touch off from Donielba. Interesting is the cross is coming from Castillo. One of the sixes. It's received by Mart. That is the man that is playing in that eighth position for Kaiser Chiefs. It means the midfielders of Kaiser Chiefs are really making runs into, into that final third. And that's how uh, Saile finds himself on the floor. Ronaldo Marman, as well as Sergio Camis. And then a debut for Levuya Mamela coming up as this one is slid across the area. That's a great intervention from giving him Simango a very, very necessary touch as he came sliding in. 
good pace from Livizo. We have not seen him do this consistently, but good reading of the game from Given Musimano. Cesar Zanti plays a really clever ball here to Doom Dansani. He's lifted it back into play. It's setting up. Oh! Well, struck on the half finally by Yusuf Mart wide of the mark. Good passage of play from Keza Chiefs being dominated on the left hand side where Santi is operating. Doom Dantane overloading at times. You've got Yusuf Mart that is anticipating the second ball. Unlucky not to get the, the correct uh, connection with the ball in that instance. Sviso Flanti, last throw of the dice here. Ashley Dupre. It's from here that he scored when uh, he met. In the Eastern Cape, cutting inside to launch one on his right foot. Not work the space this time around. Seconds ticking away. We use, yep, that's it. The game is done. And actually, Dupre, who's uh, been struggling with the injury in the off season, looks to have sustained a bit of a knock here. So hopefully that's not serious, but it ends in a draw. 21st league meeting between Chippewa United and Kaiser Chiefs. Just the third time that they've drawn. It's the first time in 10 matches that uh, this fixture fails to produce a result. The final score between Chiefs and Chippa is 0-0. Alongside me now, Coach Morgan Mamila. Coach, thank you for joining me. You said that pound for pound, you can match this particular team. You did that. Did you feel you did enough to maybe get a win as well? Yeah, uh, pound to pound, uh, you could see uh, first 45 minutes, not even one uh, shot on target in case of Chiefs, dominate, press up, create clearer chances. To be honest, uh, we should have won this match. I only see case of Chiefs the last 10 minutes. The whole eight ten minutes, it was all Chippa United creating chances left and right. I'll take this performance uh, with both hands. Uh, credit to the boys, credit to the technical team, actually, actually even from the board, from actually even the chairman of the team. If this team going to play like this, I'm telling you, one will get hiding one day. Must be particularly pleasing even seeing that you did mention that these, these players aren't quite there yet physically because it is only game one of the season. But to put in a performance like this, especially defensively, where Abo Mosele stood out, that must be of particularly uh, uh, a pleasure for you. Yeah, it, 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 lo it looks good because you could see uh, new players came in, but you could see Mosele, he was only training with us a week. But one thing for sure, I've worked with Mosele, he knows. Uh, um, how Chipper plays because I sat down with him, I show him how we play and his role because I know his strong points. But credit to all the players, they gave the all. But I don't know why we didn't hit at the back of the net. I don't know why. But we'll go back uh, to the drawing board, uh, prepare for the next match at home. Uh, it must be a win that one. We don't need anything. We need just a maximum three points. Now, the home coach for this afternoon, Coach Molefin Zeki. Coach, thank you for joining me. 90 minutes, game one. What did you make of it? 90 minutes with no goals. Uh, we are disappointed. We could not score. Uh, but I think uh, if you look at um, the different moments of the game, I think uh, being the first game, we did well, uh, except for giving the ball away cheaply. Uh, which almost hurt us. But I think uh, without uh, conceding a goal, um, the boys uh, did very well. They applied themselves. Um, we can't uh, falter effort that they had to put. But I think, uh, tactically speaking, we can do better. There were moments throughout the game where Chiefs were working the ball into the final third with relative ease. Not quite a lot to show for that, though. How do you fix that? How do you tweak that as this team develops? I think we spoke about it at halftime to say it is important for us to take shots at goals because uh, we can't uh, break uh, a, a deep block uh, with, uh, with those short, short uh, passes. What is important is um, how do you add numbers? What is important is what type of crosses do you put in? And I think uh, it is something that we'll be working on. Share with us your thoughts on some of the new members of the squad, particularly Castillo. He looked really good. Since his arrival, I think he has been doing very well. Um, if you look at um, how he manages the game, I think uh, it's a very high level of tactical uh, management of the game. And I think uh, with the combinations that you are working on, uh, with him and Zwani, with him and Mart, with him and Sitebe, uh, something will come out and then we are looking forward to a, a positive contribution that is going to make to the club. See you next week. Then Sundance, coach. Thank you.